Jim's Garage Toys. Today I did a little something with my 2017 Corolla IM and I finally took it and had it dynoed so to see the results of some of the mods I've been doing. So as kind of a recap, I have installed a DC Sports cold air intake, a DC Sports ceramic header, it's a 421 header, a DNA catback exhaust that's two and a half inches. Um, the cat is still there. I haven't messed with any of that stuff. Um, I did install a jet MAF sensor and I have intake and exhaust quantum solenoids for the VDTI system and I also have a NST lightweight flywheel. So those are the mods. I haven't done any kind of tuning on it. Um, unfortunately, I haven't really found anybody here uh, near me that um, has been able to successfully do that very well, um, at least tuning the stock ECU. But I did finally take it, took it to the same uh, place that did the tune on my 2009 Corolla Turbo, and I trust them. And so we got up on the dyno today. I've got a, a couple of short video clips of that and uh, the posted results. Um, it's kind of nice because they did say that their dyno uh, reads about 5% low um, in accurate testing that they've done on it. So that made me feel good. I wasn't too sure what I was going to see. My net goal with this was hoping to achieve 170 uh, brake horsepower at the crank. Uh, just with both ons, I figured that'd be pretty good. Stock is 137 at the crank. And uh, lo and behold, I actually got better than that. So um, at, the, at the wheels, I'm at 160, at the crank about 180, 181. So uh, I'm very happy with it. I knew that it was pulling a lot stronger. I didn't know how much stronger, but just from driving it, it was night and day difference from stock. So, um, and a lot of people really didn't believe me. <laughs> so, but it does prove that the 2ZR FAE in this Corolla IM can respond very well to just simple bolt-ons even without any kind of a tune. So um, with that, I'll go ahead and uh, do the video so you can enjoy them. Any questions, feel free to holler. And once again, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.